Christian, just the feeling of having a game this week and how, I mean, you guys work for so long to get to game, you know, to the season. What's what's the attitude around the clubhouse this week? Um, do it now. Coach Max has been saying it ever since uh, Christmas break. We're preparing now to get it somewhere in, in the end. So whatever we're doing, preparing now, it's going to happen in the end. I mean, the vibes in the locker room, I mean, it's game week. We've been waiting for this since the beginning of the fall, so it, it's it's been good. It's been fun. So. Uh, Coach talked a little bit about you guys playing with an edge last year, kind of resetting that standard of getting back to where you're used to being. What did you guys learn from that experience to, to keep carrying that edge now that you're – kind of back to the same expectations you're used to having? Uh, just carrying an edge all around. Um, I mean, we're always going to play with a chip on our shoulder. Every game's the same. Um, show up to the field every day. And, uh, I mean, no matter what, you got to come ready to play, whether you're playing, you know, a bunch of guys that just start picked up a bat or Hall of Famers. You just, you know, every pitch is the same. You can't take a pitch off, and that's just the way we show up. You're amongst the guys that are getting some uh, preseason accolades. Uh, first of all, what, what, how's that feel uh, to get that national attention as being one of the best guys at, at your spot? And, and two, how do you harness it in so it doesn't go to your, go, you know, to the top of your head? Um, obviously, uh, pretty humbling uh, to to be uh, honored like that. But just being able to play for your team and with these guys, uh, I'm the same guy in the locker room every day. It's fun. Uh, I mean, we've been playing together for us three for three years now and just being able to work with them. Um, I wouldn't be in the spot where I am today without them and uh, pretty thankful. And it's, it's just been great. Good experience. Uh, Jack and Christian, you guys have been you know together playing for a long time. Have you had the chance to reflect on the last decade, basically, since you were playing together since 13 years old and now you're preseason All-Americans? It's been long. I mean, we've been we grew up together, so or we've been roommates now for three years. So I mean, just kind of take it day by day. It's 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 obviously like fun, but I mean, nothing's better than coming in the locker room and seeing all your teammates' faces. Like we always just keep it good, keep a smile on our face. So yeah, I mean, it's been fun playing with Jack. It's definitely like a it's a brother. It's my it's my little brother. My little yeah, brother. Yeah. Yeah. It's my little brother. So. Uh, for me, I mean, just growing up with Christian, obviously, I mean, he's been my leadoff hitter my whole life. It's It's been, uh, it seems like the same thing every game. I'll just lead off with a base hit up the middle, and it's he's a table setter. Um, but obviously, it's more than just him, more than just us. It uh, takes a whole team to win, and uh, that's what we got this year, so it's going to be fun. Logan, you uh, definitely over the fall and here in the early spring, you definitely seem to have added a little more pop in that bat. Can you... Uh, Talk about how that seems to have come about. If you're doing anything different, um, whether it be through like any kind of change in the swing plane or anything like that, or anything in the weight room, and where that's come from. Uh, yeah, I mean we've got we've got a new strength guy this year. Um, he's been letting us do some workouts that are a little bit different. Um, I think it's just the the fact of coming in every day, doing the same thing. Um, it's fun, it's just starting to show a little bit more. Um, I've learned learned the game a little bit better. I learned how I need to take my approach, and I think it's just. The development, um, obviously, Snyder and Gray have been helping me out a lot. Um, so it's just getting a better feel, I think. Jack, you and Dalton split a lot of time last year, and obviously, as a catcher, you're, you're not going to start every single game behind the plate. But is it an adjustment when you take over, maybe not the whole full time role, but playing a majority of the games behind the plate for for you and maintaining throughout the season? Um. For me, it's just you know showing up with the same attitude every day. Um, whether you're in the game on the bench, you just want to help the team win, and um, maybe taking a bigger role, maybe sharing with the freshmen this year. Um, you just got to trust in the guys, and you know can't. I mean, that's the whole point of not putting pressure on yourself because you always believe in the guy behind you, and uh, that's what it's going to be, and that's what this team is about. Just uh, believing in one another and just trying to win the game. Christian, can you talk about uh, just where the 
the joy that you seem to play with and that boundless energy you seem to have like can you can you just talk about like where that comes from I'm, I'm assuming you've always played baseball that way um and just uh how that kind of has come about yeah i mean i show up the field with a smile on my face like i remember yesterday during the game like i'm always trying to talk to people i'm always trying to be like the loudest on the field just play with a smile because like you're playing a kid's game i mean a hard game you're failing three out of ten times so I mean you got you got to make it fun somehow so I'm always just trying to lift others up lift my teammates up when they're down just kind of keep that even like good vibe in the dugout so I'm always just smiling just keeping it cool so yeah for anybody who wants to answer uh, Dan talked about just the the depth at a lot of different positions and how I guess difficult it is to uh, put together a lineup just because of you know the talent level what is that competition like between you guys, and how would you just describe, you know, the, the talent level, the potential that you guys have this season? Uh, I think Jack kind of already touched on that a little bit, talking about trusting each other. I mean, whether we're in the lineup every day or we're, we're on the bench every day, it's just you're trusting the guys that are on the field, um, trusting that if somebody goes down, there's a guy right behind them that's just as good, if not better, because um, we got a lot of young guys that are definitely deserve to be on the field, um, whether they are or not. So it's just, I think it's just, that aspect that we, we all have that faith in each other that they're going to perform. Yeah, I guess this program, I mean, the key to for success in here is, is one man. If it's Omaha Ruin, that's a picture of the Omaha Stadium. The Power Boy series is on the backdrop behind you. How much of that do you guys talk about that during the year, and how much of that is a, is a, is a focus as you begin the season? Um, I mean, growing up for all of us as kids, it's the reason you come here um, to get to Omaha, not just to get there, to win. Um, we all want to be national champions. Uh, ever since, you know, that loss to Texas A&M last year, it's, it's been a circle on our calendar. And, uh, you know, we're just ready to compete and ready to show what we got this year. Um, yeah, I mean, you kind of said it spot on. I mean, you come here to win. You come here to, to win a national championship and – we want we want to be the first ones to do that, um, but it starts that we're not really looking towards that right now. We're just looking for a Friday Friday night's game. For first for Jack and then the other guys. Can you, Jack? Can you talk about the two freshmen behind you that that are kind of in the with the catcher position, and then for Christian or uh, Logan, some other freshmen that might step up and we might see this year. Yeah, so we got uh, Veerling and Klein, uh, both really good kids, both hard workers. Uh, both stepped onto campus, put their put their head down, and just went to work. Uh, I mean, they've ga gained a lot of respect out of all the teammates and coaches just for what they've done and uh, how they show up to the field every day. And it's been fun just to work with them and and you know um, get better with them. And we're gonna see what they got this year. And I mean, they've showed it already, but it, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, we got. I mean, this me and me and Logan both say every day like this infield class that we have behind us is very talented. I feel like this freshman class is the best freshman class that I've been a part of. I've only been a part of two, but they they're really talented. I mean, they have these at these like Keelan Schmidt. Um, I mean, we got Barry. I, I mean, this infield is just loaded. Like we ha we go to war every day, basically. Like we're always talking mess in the dugout. Like who's got more errors in uh, in early work? So it, it's been fun. But yeah. I mean, yeah, I couldn't really, don't really have much to add on to that. Those guys, they, they work really hard, um, and they're really fun to play with. Um, it, it don't matter who's going to be on the field, in the infield for us, because whoever's out there is going to play really well. Christian, as they, you know, as you see some of the things um, online, like, you know, you've been projected as a, you know, D1 had you as a, a top five second baseman. Um and maybe people try to project you out of second baseman, but you play shortstop here. Do you think about that any going forward as as that? Or, I mean, you look very comfortable playing there as well, but obviously love short. Like, does that kind of matter to you at all, or how do you feel about it? No, it really doesn't matter. I, I tell us to everyone, like, in high school, my freshman year, I played left field. My sophomore year, I played third base. My junior year, I played second base. And then we, we got cut off for COVID year, so I never played short in high school. So, I mean, I feel like all the infield positions are very different, and – I don't, I'll I'll play anywhere, but I mean second base, shortstop, third base. It, they're all they're all different and they're all very fun. So it's just the infield. I mean it doesn't really matter. So 
Jack, can you talk about the, the challenge of being the DH? I mean, Dan was talking about how it can be more difficult than you think because you have to sit on the be- bench for so long until your, your number's called again. Um, <clears throat> that role is definitely different from uh, anything I've probably ever been a part of in high school or travel ball growing up, but someone's got to do it. And, you know, whenever adversity comes your way, you're just supposed to say good, uh, just roll with it. And um, honestly, when you're cheering on the fence, uh, help, trying to help your team win in any way possible, uh, you know, you don't even think about that. You're just trying to win the game and uh, just trusting that everyone out on the field. So that's about it. Jack, what have you learned over the last couple of years from Henry and Dalton that impacts the way you play now? Right. Um, stepping on a campus, just seeing how they work every day, um, what they do in the weight room, what they do to get their bodies right. Um, you know, mentally every day, uh, just showing up to the field with a purpose and not taking reps off and um, just showing up with an attitude, being a good teammate, but also playing hard at the same time, trying to compete with one another, but compete for the same goal at the end of the day. I guess kind of going off of that, what would you say is the best piece of advice that they gave you or, you know, anything like that? Um. Just put your head down. Um, nothing, I mean, your performance is going to talk for itself. You don't, social media is obviously coming a big part of this game uh, nowadays, but what you do on the field is obviously going to be the biggest words you could say. So um, put your head down, just go to work.